Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to use page scrape. More specifically, we'll be covering new scrape and scrape in append. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and open up Dataminer from the top right corner of our toolbar, and then I'll click the scrape this page button. This will open up our main window. I'll now go ahead and do the page scrape section. And now what we're looking at is a list of different recipes and different scrape options. I uh, will have a video that covers how to select a recipe later in our tutorials. Um, but just for a quick overview, uh, you can select from public recipes, uh, generic recipes, as well as my recipes. And you'll just want to review them. Uh, click on a few of them just to preview the data and see what works best. And then uh, once you have one that is working for you, so you click the preview, you can review the data in the data table. And then when you're ready to start, start scraping, you can move on to the scrape section. So the first thing we'll do is covering, we'll cover the news scrape. So to do this, I'll just uh, click that, which is actually clicked by default. And then I'll just click the scrape button. And now this will capture the data for this one page here. Um, this would be a good use, uh, a good use for this process would be if you had like a large table that didn't have multiple pages at the bottom, or maybe a search results page that uh, rather than having multiple pages, it had like a show more at the bottom. And every time you clicked it, it would just uh, add more data to the page. So those would be good examples of when to use page scrape. So you just do a simple single click of the page or the scrape button, captures what's available, and then you can download it. I did want to point out that if you click to a new page and you go back to data miner and use the same option, it will replace the data. So if you ever have issues with data disappearing, um, just something to be aware of that this process will delete the previous scrape and only give you the newest scrape. If you need to uh, scrape data, from multiple pages and have it accumulate, that is when you would want to do the scrape and append. This is a process where uh, you could go to different pages of a website and click the scrape button and it will gradually accumulate the data to one file, which you can then download. A use case for this would be um, as if you wanted to click into a profile or maybe different product pages. Uh, so you could first manually review the page and make sure that it has all of the items that you need or the correct items you need. Um, once you find a good page, you go to data miner, click scrape, and it captures that data. And now you can go to another page. Let's say uh, Steve looks good. So we come to his profile. And oh, actually, I apologize. Um, this is not going to be capturing the correct data. Um, as you can see, it's not updating anything because I forgot to select the recipe. So what we'll need to do is click the preview button of our new recipe that is designed for this page. And this looks good. So now I can say scrape and that will capture the data for this one page. Cool. So yeah, we have Steve's information now. <clears throat> so let's say we want to go to Matt. Uh, and this page looks good as well. So we can go back to Data Miner and click the scrape button again. And it is now appending. And you can pretty much do this uh, throughout all the additional pages, picking which one looks good. Um, and Let's say this three is good. So let's say we're done. So at this point, you can now download the, the file, and you'll have all three records available in one file. So that pretty much covers um, everything in terms of uh, page scrape. Um, we will have a separate video that covers next page automation. Uh, we'll have a separate video that kind of does more of a more thorough uh, video of that. So if you're interested, we recommend taking a look at that. And uh, I guess thanks for watching. All right, bye.